Hello everyone, welcome back to Thrill Builds Gaming and in today's video I'm building the walls around the central castle so this isn't going to be the most exciting video, it's pretty much building walls but that means we're getting closer to actually building the zones so for this one I played about with the saving something as a blueprint and the duplication tool so it's a very simple wall that I've made and as you can see in this corner there was a big gap so I decided to use some columns and then I found that nice little thing that I like and I stuck that on top and that plugged the gap so for this this is where I started doing the create a new blueprint and this really did speed up the process and it's handy to know how to use that tool now so that will make things a lot quicker and I just started building and building and I didn't at this point think do you know what I should make a blueprint of multiple sections of this wall so I'm not doing one at a time so yeah I build this whole section of the wall and it's really starting to come together and I realized quite quickly <laughs> that yeah this is probably going to be a bigger central courtyard than I originally thought <coughs> so rather than just talking about building walls for the whole time I thought while we're doing this oh this is me building a corner tower now so for every corner and gate into the different zones there's these towers just to mark off the divisions between the different sections <coughs> so the five zones that we're going to have is there's a fairy tale zone a wild west zone a sci-fi zone a pirate zone and a jungle zone and each of these sections will have different types of rights. So for this tower, I've done what, yeah, it took me a really long time to figure out what kind of door I wanted on these towers leading off from the walkways. And I went for this kind of distressed looking door. And then I tried to put windows on again, but they kept snapping to different edges and yeah I gave up again but I will keep trying that because I think putting some bars on these windows would make it a bit more realistic and I've added in torches so that it lights up at night and yeah it's really coming together it's shaping up to be a very nice castle so get yeah, each of the five zones will have different types of rides so that it's not just a replica of the same thing five times and then I wanted to put some knights on the walkways but I couldn't remember where they were but I did find them eventually so I just wanted the guardian knights not the attacking ones just standing there and yeah so I then did duplicate I saved the towers as a blueprint so that I didn't have to build these every time as well. So yeah, that's the first section done. So in the fairy tale zone, <clears throat> I'm thinking we'll have a wooden coaster that travels through the enchanted forest, a carousel because, you know, princesses, they like to be on their horses in the carousels. I've scribbled down the I would like a mirror maze, but I don't know if that's possible in Planet Coaster, if that you can build a mirror maze, so it might turn into a hedge maze, but some kind of a maze. And then I thought a dark ride through the enchanted forest or through the different fairy tales, depending on what assets I can find. But a suspended one, kind of like the Peter Pan thing at Disneyland, if that's possible. I've not had a look at what kind of rides there are for dark rides and things. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually building the gate or the archway that goes into the fairy tale land. And each zone will have one of these gates 
so that it's easy to work out which zone you're going into. So yeah, it's really coming together. And the trains, well, there's one train version of this, the rest go through the different zones, so yeah. It's interesting. So moving on from, because this gate here is into fairy tale land, the next zone will be Wild West, the Wild West sort of cowboy land. And in this zone, I fought a nice runaway mine train through a gold mine, a dark ride possibly through a cowboy shootout, a bandit shootout fight kind of thing throughout the town. A spinning ride that sort of simulates being in a tornado or a dust storm. And then a stagecoach journey, sort of the traveling west sort of stagecoach journey disaster type ride. Then moving on counterclockwise from the wild west land, the one that's directly in front of the castle is sci-fi land. So this will be all space themed, alien themed type area. And this is where the big coaster will be, the hyper coaster, which will have indoor and outdoor sort of sections to it. And then another dark ride that's simulating an alien invasion or a battle in outer space type thing. And then I thought a chair swing ride, but fully enclosed with sort of space themed around it so that you're flying through the cosmos. And then a drop tower. So a really high one that takes you up. You can do an observation of the whole park and then it drops. That'll be exciting. Then going counterclockwise from there, we come to the pirate land. And this one's going to be mainly a big lake, a big water place, because I thought we would put a log flume in here. A water themed ride that's going through a pirate ship battle. Another dark ride where we're touring a cursed island in search of treasure. And then a pirate ship swing. And then finally is the jungle area which will be sort of an Aztec sort of temple themed jungle. And there'll be the Whitewater Rapids ride. And then I thought a suspended roller coaster simulating exotic birds flying through the trees in the forest. A family coaster, which in my mind, <laughs> I can build, but whether I can do it in here, in this game is totally different story, but I thought <clears throat> a family coaster that's sort of winding through a giant stone serpent. And then a jungle exploration sort of ride where we go through the jungle in search of animals and different, like a safari through the jungle type ride. Again, I don't know if we have the things in the game to make that possible. And then each of these zones will have a train station. And that train station will be at like the heart of the area. And those areas will have the food store stalls and the drinks and all the facilities sort of themed around that area. So in the jungle area, it will all be themed around like a tribal village with like the huts and stuff. In the sci-fi area, it will be like a big mechanics workshop or something, an outer spacey alien planet. And then the rides will branch off that. And I thought, you know, a nice little village centre for each zone, with all the facilities, all leading back to the central castle. So yeah, this is me adding the final touches to the walls, with the doors, so that knights and things could walk around, making sure everything's tip top, and none of the people from the, or the creatures from the other zones can actually get into the castle. So these signs took me an embarrassingly long amount of time to actually find the one that I wanted. Because I want big ones, but there's not a lot of big ones. And I, there's 
probably a way to size these up, but I haven't quite played about with that yet. So each zone will have a sign on this side saying what the zone is, and then on the other side there's the sign that says back to the castle. So yeah, it's coming along. So here's our sci-fi sign. I've tried to make the signs represent what's through the gateway. So Pirate Village. The jungle one was actually the hardest one to find because I wanted one that was like the ropes, the planks with the rope hanging down. But again, they were too small and I wanted a big one. So I settled for just a plain wooden one. Which does its job. But yeah, I would have liked a different one. So yeah, that's that done. I haven't added the torches and the knights around the whole wall because I thought you're pretty much sitting here watching me build walls for 15 minutes if you've made it this far. You don't want to see me putting torches and knights on top as well. So I have an idea for how I want to split off the different zones, but I'll do that off camera, off video because you've already watched me build and place all these walls, you don't want to see me do it for every zone as well, but I will get that done. It'll be a similar kind of approach, but with two different sides, so that they match the zone on the side that's facing the fence, if that made any sense. I did try it with chain link fence, but I thought, no, that just looks ridiculous, we're not doing that. So, yeah, now that all the walls are done, and all the fences, it was time to start laying the train tracks. So this isn't the final track layout, but I just wanted to make sure it was in and the stations were in. So it was a pretty quick and simple process putting these down, making sure the stations were all in place. So that, yeah, the only part of this that I found <laughs> the hardest was I didn't put a gate in on the other side of the castle for the track to come back in. So you yeah, I yeah, that that was that was something. <clears throat> so I want to put in a lake and a river. So the pirate area will have a big lake because most of the rides are gonna be water based rides and yeah. So and then I want a river going through the jungle. So this is where I realised, oh, you haven't put in a gate, we're going to have to do something. Oh, let's do a tunnel. And then I thought, why can't I tunnel under here? So, yeah, I had to delete it all again. <clears throat> and then I thought, well, we'll just, we'll just bring it back up. And yeah, that's what I did. And then I tried to do so the autocomplete and didn't delete the path, so I had to do that, and then try the auto-complete again. And I'm not overly happy with how that looks, because it's not very realistic, says the person who's having a sci-fi land and a jungle all surrounding a castle, but it's not the most realistic for a train to go from a tunnel under a wall to then a bridge and then back down. And then I realised I hadn't placed a station in the jungle area, so I had to delete it all and try again, and then put in another tunnel into a bridge. And yeah, it caused me all kind of problems. But it's done. There we go. It's all done and dusted. So now I can test the trains. Woohoo! Off we go. I'm not going to make you sit and watch the whole thing, going. Don't worry. We'll do that with roller coasters, but we're not going to do that with a people moving train. So once that was done, I had to fix up the whole mess that I've made of the ground. So they got to play with the train tools again, but I've made the trains go faster than what they do by default. And I put in a footbridge over the train tracks, which again, I'm not overly happy with, but I will fix that up. And there we go. So now I'm going to fix the scar in on the ground and that'll be this, this video all done and dusted. If you would have done anything different, let me know down below what you would have done differently. 
as I'm thinking that I should probably have done what I did on the other side and had an archway for the train tracks to come back through. But yeah, for now, I think that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think so far, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.